Welcome, my friends, to Count the Alone's attack. We are actually going to be beginning this attack on the enemy's left core and hopefully, just hopefully, getting ourselves a nice little victory. But, of course, this is quite a large battle, so I'm just going to do my absolute best. Let's first take Marshal de Camp Baron Chat. I'm going to stop showing off. Come on, I don't even speak French. Probably mispronouncing this horrifically. In any case, I'm going to push forward with the standard... I was going to say line formation, but I'll keep the column by division just to make sure that movement is going to go fairly well here for us. And let's start pushing forward with some other troops as well. So over here, let's see who we've got. We've got Colonel Claude Charlet. Let's push him forward as well. There's definitely going to be enemies over here, um, probably waiting for us in the fort. So I am going to push forward over there as well. Same thing, columns. Um, but if we need to jump into lines quickly, then we can certainly do that. We've got a bunch of guys all across the line. See, we're advancing all the way up there, guys. We've got a hell of a lot of work ahead of us. Um, and for these particular attacks, I will be going in terms of line attacks. Um, because we really need to try and spread that out and maximize damage. Look at that. The cannons are firing. The battle has certainly begun in earnest. And again, I am just pushing on all of these different locations. Um, for these last units, I'm actually going to keep them over here by the tree line, sort of. But really still make a concerted effort to break through the enemy lines. Got to break through there as well. So let's focus just these two units on that area. And if we need to stop and fight, we can do that as well. We'll send this guy right there. Okay, these battles can take quite a while as you could probably imagine, um, so a lot of it is just going to be spent with our men moving towards the position here. Um, they are marching, we can ask them to do a double quick march, but I don't think that's a good idea right now. So as always, we will return when the combat begins, my friends. And what do you know, directly in front of us, it looks like we've got some British forces. I'll actually separate um, this unit from the line, just send them directly forward, kind of ahead of the rest of the men, and start engaging those enemies at will. So let's just go ahead and do that. In fact, we're even going to have them run into position. Same over here, because we can get start getting some pretty decent shots, I believe. En avance! Now, I probably should be separating skirmishers here. Um, Definitely should be separating skirmishers. Um, let's try and detach. We've already got... There we go. Detach skirmisher units right there. We'll have to separate them. But they're already actually... It looks like they're preparing to open fire at least. There we go. They've got eyes on target. Fire at will, boys. Yeah, they absolutely started firing back there. Wonderful. So now the rest of our men can carry out the orders as well. But we can't keep our focus here forever. We've got to try to spread this damage all along the line if we want to beat the enemy. Well, I'm starting to see some enemies here at range. I think it's time with Brigade Schmitz to start setting up. Let's actually send him forward here. Don't want to waste any time whatsoever. So let's push forward with him. Um, I'll also try to get another Brigade over here. Or another part of the Brigade, I should say. And of course, we still have units actually targeting that fort there. Um, but it's going to take quite a few of these guys to break through. So I'm thinking we should just grab the rest of them and keep on proceeding forward. Let's do exactly that. Uh, in fact, we'll grab these guys as well and bring them forward too. We've lost a little bit of command, <clears throat> of command in this area. But things seem to be returning to normal at least as quickly as they can. And as you can see, we've got more guys approaching to deal with that enemy ahead of us. Let's see if we've got eyes on target yet. Still do not push forward. And I don't like to do this at distance, at these distances, but again, time is definitely a big factor here. So I am going to rush forward with them. Uh, and I'll actually even rush forward with this group as well. As long as it means getting eyes on the target sooner. Grab this guy, or actually, we'll make it even easier on ourselves. We'll grab this guy and 
put him over there. So that's going to be the second point of contact. Of course, we are still engaging over there by the cathedral. Um, or the fort, I should say. I don't know why I called it a cathedral. Um, but it's going to take a while. Here we go. Beautiful. They are going to begin firing. Absolutely wonderful. Uh, and as you can see, this group here, Brigade Bourgeois, is going to be getting in a position. Hopefully, they can help out our men. But they do have a brigade over there that they've also kept hidden. So let's push forward. And look at that. Looks like our guys on the other side are also engaging the enemy. I'm going to have to stop for a second and get over here. And since these battlefields are so massive, it does take a while to render at times. Uh, I'm not going to lie. Let's just send him in. There we go. He's going to start engaging for sure. Um, we can stop him. He can start engaging now. He can start engaging now. Let's start knocking down some of the enemy. He's getting into position in a, in a pretty nice area, and I'll get him to actually move over here so that we're pretty much cutting the enemy off um, and firing at him from multiple angles. I, I hope this works. Grab just this guy. Actually, we'll let him go through. I will grab this infantry unit, though, and try and move him over here by the bushes. Let's take a look. C'est très bien! These look like some of the... Um, the British allies, perhaps even the Dutch, that we're facing right here, or maybe just some good old-fashioned Germans. Let's see, Nassau Brigade, yeah, they are Dutch for sure. Although I believe they are in employ of the British, so potentially not actually part of the Dutch force. The military grunyards that are familiar with uh, Waterloo can let us know in the comments below. I would like to know, honestly. The other thing is we're really close to their damn cannons here got to do something about that. We've got to try to exploit this position uh, and break through. Potentially even go for a charge. I mean, if that's what it takes, uh, that's what it takes. Um, I'm going to start moving that way. But I think a charge might actually be exactly what the doctor ordered. Um, and we'll keep pushing through over here to try and harass the enemy artillery. Look at that. Got even more men engaging the enemy here. Look at that. Beautiful. Got a ton of artillery blowing up above them as well. Let's just hope that they can really make this rain home. No. Our guys are not spotting uh, the enemy here. We're also going to detach a skirmisher unit there. Let's do something like this. Actually, now I should just send forward the skirmishers. But at this point, overwhelming force is necessary. So until we see that bullseye appear, we're not actually firing at the enemy. Uh, that's kind of what we're trying to make happen right now. But it looks like we're getting pretty damn close to another enemy line. And since our guys are already spotting them, I'm going to let them start firing really just want to make this happen quickly of course move the rest up boys we shall make you bleed for standing in france's way let's take a look at that first point i'm still going to try to send some additional units in we've got two or three infantry units back here that just haven't seen any action because of uh, this fort so i'm going to push them forward And we'll take this infantry unit assist over here. As you can see, we're, we're also getting hit from the enemy over there. Um, on their right flank, our left flank. So I'm going to address that quickly, even if it means running into place. Make it happen. Let's take a look over here. Looks like we forced the enemy back. At least these Dutch units, we forced them back. And I absolutely want to press the advantage here on the enemy cannons. Let's go. Whole group here. Unfortunately, the general is awfully close. So we're just going to do a full-on attack of the entire group at this point. Even 
even units from other groups. We're going to go ahead and send them into the fray. Let's take a look over here. Hopefully getting close to breaking past that enemy line there. And that is one of the points we have to take. So we've got to get aggressive. Let's push forward over here. I mean, I will fit in men to whatever particular um, line of volley they can get into. Even if it's just that tiny area there so that they get some additional shots on the enemy. Um, and another thing I'm going to do is go ahead and turn this guy. Do an oblique left. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Sorry, wrong move. He did need to reposition, though. So, I guess that, was, I guess that worked out either way. I just wanted them to reposition like this. That's perfect. Absolutely perfect, boys. There we go. They finally broke. We've got to push as quickly as possible. Uh, let's see where the general is. And again, right through the center, guys. That's right. Now, of course, our men will probably stop to fire. They're not necessarily just going to charge right through the center. But that's going to be our goal, is to try and break through um, that way. Where's that other general? Mi general. Um, all right, that's okay. We can micromanage these guys on our own. In fact, he's hit. I think one of our generals is down. Uh, I, mean, I keep saying general, but frankly, these are probably colonels. Uh, things like that, not necessarily generals. So here we go. With these guys, we're just going to provide fire support. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to have him hold his position. That looks more appropriate. Uh, however, we will bring these units up to deal with the enemies harassing us right there. That's a big problem. Let's see how our guys are handling it. Let them have it, boys. Looks like our artillery is also firing at that group, which I like. But what about this group? How are things going over here? As awful as always. Um, we will, however, try to get this unit in on the action as well. And also bring up these additional infantry units up to this area too. You can see there's also part of the battle going on over there. This game really tries to capture all of Waterloo. Um, and you can separate it pretty much however you want. You can play each part just however you feel like it. Come on. All right, look at that. The boys are absolutely pushing up, but it looks like we've got some resistance right there. Push up over here, push up over here. Anywhere we can get some support. Even if it means moving into the enemy hedgerow. In fact, that's probably a good idea. Let's get in that damn hedgerow. Okay, the Dutch are moving forward with some units, it looks like. The Niederlandse Brigades. Um, we've got to get a little bit closer, though, to be able to spot them. So I am going to keep on pushing our boys. We sent them through a lot, but this is what we have to do. Another thing we could try to do is push our artillery forward. Though it seems like maybe not, maybe a little too late for that. Um, you know what? We're going to push these guys closer to the fort. How about that? So at least they'll be able to do some damage to that location, that standing location. Sure everybody's doing their part. Should be more than sufficient. Ah, no. There we go. These guys are already firing. They know the deal. But, you know what? Getting closer is a good thing. And again, the idea here could be that we just go ahead and do a charge. And try and rush right through. That's what I think I'm going to attempt on this side. But first, I want those guys to get into position. And it looks like they're doing an okay job. Not a great job, but an okay job at putting up some resistance to the enemy. Those guys are firing from the bushes where we set them up. But let's get some more of these larger units over here. To try to move them in quickly. We'll do the same here. Um, but with him, I'm just going to do a standard march. Standard march order. 
see, this guy is not assisting in the fight, so we've got to push him forward, because the men we're facing right there are quite strong. The Landwehr Battalion, Hanover Brigade, so these are German units here. This is where we could actually kind of, yep, there we go. Expected that. The enemy's got even more units. There we go. Without doing the actual left oblique, we have restructured them. But with these guys, we're going to have to go ahead and restructure as well. Keep it up, boys. Keep it up. Alright, these units are the closest to the enemy currently. Pretty incredible. We don't want to fully get out of this uh, area, just close enough to be able to spot them. Something like that, and we are still getting the cover bonus of these bushes. Uh, now with the rest of the men, gotta go right in there. Let's get in there as quickly as possible. A attack! aggressive. Same over here. It looks like they are no longer firing since the enemy pulled back. Unacceptable reason to stop firing. I'm going to push that area, not because we have to control that area, but just to stop any reinforcements from funneling in over here to this victory location. Got to get closer. Have those rifles ready. We haven't done a single charge yet, but I think as so far, it's good that we haven't done any charges. Um, I don't think they would have actually come out in our favor, uh, especially when you look at these enemy lines. They are stacked, man. Got to break through this before we can take the center. But what about over here? This is where a charge is starting to look a little more likely every second. Let's move in. Move in. Get even closer, and if we need to, we will initiate that charge. Let's do it. Force attack. They are not force attacking. Let's get back over there. There we go. I don't know why it took so hard, to, took so long to damn find that. I guess we have to like literally click in the circle here instead of on the flag. Nope. So I want to just order a standard attack that's going to have to work. Here we go. Charge. They're not charging in the direction I'd like them to, but uh, I guess they get the general gist of things. See, these guys are close enough to know who to charge at. Again, not understanding that. That's, that's weird.
Yeah, again, not, not giving us that option at all. It's weird, man. There we go. It's gotta, it's gotta be we've gotta click that specific flag when they're stopped. Here we go, a charge. Gotta do a charge here too. So again, that specific flag when they're stopped. Unit has to be selected too. Charge! This is the moment of truth. And actually even having more units forward would be good. Let's start pushing these guys forward right now. I knew the Highlanders were going to take us out with that unit. That was unintentional. But the Dutch, um, they forced back one of our units. Let's see how they do over here. Vive la France! Vive l'Empereur! See a lot of enemies dropping. That flag. Yeah, that's a system. I can see why people get frustrated by that system. Kind of, kind of frustrating. Here we go. Charge. Hopefully, with the second charge, they will be broken. Although we don't have many men in that unit. Um, that's my only, only issue, really. What about over here? I think enough time has been spent wallowing behind the lines. Or away from the lines, and they look just about ready to break anyway. Charge. Charge. Charge! Oh, glory! Will this be the hour for France? We shall see. That is a pretty, pretty awesome charge, though, I have to say. Might as well move the rest of this group forward as well. There we go, look at that! Push these guys up as well, certainly need them to uh, hold off the enemy. It's going pretty well though, that particular charge is going extraordinarily well as a matter of fact. Uh, it's not even, this location is no longer under control of the enemy and we've taken some prisoners. Très bien, keep, up shoot, keep on the shooting, keep up the fire. Guys will get to work fairly quick, but it looks like this area has gone fairly silent. Um, we have taken that center, incredibly, and we can see all those bodies there. Pretty brutal stuff, I have to admit. But the center does seem, well, not quite ours, but we've pushed them out of this area. They still hold the center due to the artillery. That is frustrating, so we are trying to get there as quickly as we can. Time is always of the essence. Right, I'm still checking on these guys. They're still having a tough time about it, unfortunately. Uh, taking that fort. It's not easy. I'm gonna send him kind of over here to patrol the area a bit, too. And eventually, we will break them out of here. You can see they don't actually have control of the location. Um, but it's gonna take quite a lot of bombardment. Take on the Highlanders, boys. I don't know why I turned into a Highlander to say that. I am part of fighting for the French. Okay, c'est très bien. As long as they stay away from the point, I don't care. Um, I don't care if we attack them or not, or, or keep our distance or not. I'm really just focused on taking that point. So he's not spotting the enemy yet, which means that unit needs to move forward. The 
you too. Plenty of guards ready to fight here. Again, the enemy is still trying to fight for control of this area, um, which is why we have not yet succeeded in taking it. We could try to go for another charge here. It's not a crazy idea, actually, considering that guy's pretty weak. We've got three full units here. Charge. Charge. Looks like they're going for different units to charge, but as long as this causes some confusion, I'm going to be quite happy. All right, there we go. Definitely causing confusion, that's for sure. And I believe these guys would charge over here, so we'll send them in for sure. Absolutely to gain control of the area. And it looks like they've taken one of our group's prisoners, so even more reason to push forward. But no, I think when our men saw those prisoners, they decided that's not a winning plan. Let's get the hell out of here. Move the rest of the reinforcements, at least. Can't always be a victory, of course. These guys are still fighting, and we may have bested them in this fight. We may have bested them. Although, look at that. What's waiting behind them? An entirely new group of enemies. So, of course, that is problematic. Fire at will. And again, another look there at the center. going to officially push for that area. Same over here. Officially pushing for the area. And I'm just going to quickly jump over here to our fort situation. Kind of see what's going on, if there's anything we can do to, um, you know, kind of speed things up at least. Far enough. I wonder if we could charge into the fort herself. I don't think so, though. Let's kind of stop and check, but I doubt it. Uh, let's try. Yeah, it doesn't count as a charge, unfortunately. Best thing we can do is kind of just fire into the fort. So these guys will begin firing. As you can see, they're already loading their weapons. Uh, it takes a while to break into a structure like that. We'll need some support to deal with uh, those enemy skirmishers. There's one more unit here that's been a bit forgotten, and I'm going to send them also into the fray over here. Avance! And sure enough, this unit does spot the enemy Highlanders. They've been taking pot shots at them for a while now. The only thing we're going to do is turn them a bit to the right here. That's it. Shoot them, boys. Bushes provide some really nice cover while we're just picking away at the enemy. Now, this is where I'd like to bring forward the artillery, or bring the artillery yeah, a bit closer. So let's just start doing that. Um, like, if I could put them right there, that would be tremendous. 
It's going to take a hell of a long time to make that happen, but it would go a long way in establishing our control of the area. Bullet is not happy with this, uh, this attack plan at all. He is not a fan. Here we go. Close enough. Um, we're just gonna kind of hold here with the general. Let's take a look and see how those Highlanders are doing. Now we've knocked down quite a few of them. Alright, once again, some of our units over here on this part of the line falling back. Um, it's still in German and British control, unfortunately. Gotta try to pull into this area at least. Let's go, boys. Come on now. Here we go. We're just going to throw these guys into this fight. There's no point in engaging the guys on the right side anymore, I don't think. Set these guys up as well. And just keep pushing the rest of them to the center. You can see that most of them are already marching there uh, due to the colonel's orders. But I want to send even more guys into that area and establish dominance and establish control. With the enemy keeping their distance here, I don't know. We might not have enough time uh, to truly beat them. They moved just out of our rifle range. Really smart move there by the Highlanders. But now our guys should have a perfect visual. Oh, nasty artillery there. It's got to be some canister shot. Although it looks more like shell shot to me, actually. Round shot, even just because it took out such a small area, um, as opposed to kind of spreading out. And there we go, some additional fire. I'm already seeing some Highlanders dropping, some kilts are falling. Not like that. What about over there, man? Not under anybody's control. That one is still under enemy control. That one is, again, not under anybody's control. And we've got so many damn units on the case here. Send yet another one in. You can see it's starting to burn. The fort is starting to burn, and that typically precedes them leaving the fort. Uh, it's typically just a warning sign that they are going to get out of that fort at any moment. Could bring up the guy from the bushes. We're not really engaging anybody there anymore. So let's send him here. Deal with the Dutch first. Can't have them shooting into our flanks the entire time. So unfortunately, we do have to deal with the Dutch. Which is frustrating, because again, I would love to just go immediately attacking the enemy cannons, but that is not going to be successful. To do a number on the Highlanders, though, look at that. I didn't expect us to do that much damage, uh, and we're just kind of picking their clock at this point. I think it was also that charge, as you can see. Um, despite it not being a very good charge, it managed to do quite a bit of damage to these guys. And again, reducing the amount of their units on this particular front will also give us control faster. You can see now they don't have control anymore. Um, so really just need to bring in our units and reduce the amount of their units. Pretty straightforward. Look at that! We've got some cannons! Okay, this could turn out pretty damn well. 
Probably shouldn't have jinxed it. Should have brought up some more cannons. What's wrong with me? Um, let's see if we can't get these guys to come up as well. And while we're at it, these beefy infantry brigades too. Alright, that central line, again, our unit's falling back. We might just not have the ability uh, to hold that central line, though. That is possible. Let's see what these cannons do for us. They're gonna unlimber on their own time. There we go. in a position. Alright, looks like they've left that area. Look at that, boys. They certainly have left the area. We'll send our, our men into that area and hopefully take it for ourselves. In the meantime, anyone that's not part of those groups can advance and keep on engaging the enemy here. So that could be at least the fort um, will belong to us. I think they've just surrendered because the fort is burning um, either they've surrendered a bit or they've retreated. The fort is burning. There's nobody inside. We'll soon find out. Gotta get closer, son. Even these guys might be able might have to get closer. I don't think they are spotting the enemy either. Yep, they are not. Let's get even closer. Here we go. Again, those cannons are taking a beating. The question is, are they dishing out the damage? I don't know. At, at this range, maybe it's not wise to even have them um, around. Here we go. Fire, boys. But what I'll do to maximize this is... Oh, it's not letting us oblique right. That's weird. So let's just manually do it. Still not spotting the enemy. We've really got to try to take dominance quickly. So I'm even considering a charge um, against that group right there. You can see another one of our units falling back on the left side there. What about the right? It's looking good on the right, but it's we're still not in control of the area. It's just looking a little better on the right. Yeah, I say for, for this location, we just keep the gunfire up. And I can definitely see some of our um, cannons targeting that area, so not a total waste to bring the cannons up at all. Alright, let's try to separate these guys. When I say separate, I'm, I mean split the enemy pretty much split their forces in two. on the targets who are ignoring the enemy over here just to engage them. Um, but that could potentially lead to our victory. So I'm moving down there quickly to start that conflict. Um, we want to keep these guys busy, so we will push forward the, with our other units. Otherwise, I would just keep them here, keep them safe. Uh, but since we are trying to keep the enemy busy, we will try to get our guys out there on the field, if, even if it means these guys taking quite a lot of shots. Gotta make sacrifices to win. It's a nice range. It's 145 yards. It's pretty damn far. Especially for rifles of the age. But I think it's okay. Um, I think we can hit them. And we could be using needlers. Or what are they called? Needle guns? I'm not sure um, what weapons would be used in this particular um, situation. Or depending on the unit as well. 
All right, we got some more artillery arriving. I love it. They're going to be right up in the enemy's face. Uh, the only thing that we could do to better things is try and get an infantry unit behind them. To try and maximize that firepower. But I'm hoping this is also going to give us control over the area. Let's see if we've taken... We have taken control over here. I think so. Um, I do see a French unit in there, but not enough to actually take the point. We've got to get a general in there. En général. when we send these uh, Highlanders packing, we can just kind of turn, face the enemy, provide some epic um, flanking fire here. But this is where I'm starting to think to get a victory, we might need to go for the charge. Let's do it. I can taste victory. These guys would be perfect for a charge. Let's get them forward. Just in case this one doesn't work, and I suspect it may not. Look at that. Those cannons are absolutely working full-time. Working overtime, I should say. Look at that. Taking chunks out of the enemy line. Keep it up. Keep it up. Oh, Napoleon. Every time I hear that cannon fire, I get giddy. They will not charge. There we go. Okay, that is certainly under French control. So the right side, the charge was definitely the key, just to break through and establish dominance. Uh, we're going to try to do the same over here if possible, but again, I think this is our weakest point. The enemy's got artillery arriving, or not just artillery, but cavalry arriving. This could get quite complicated. focus on those Highlanders exclusively. We still have not officially taken this location. Maybe I'll just send a um, artillery general over there. Just have the leader double quick gallop over here as well. That also works. General Picton intercepted. All right. Just seeing if we could also divert any troops from this area uh, over to our other fronts. But number one, it would take too long, and I don't want to lose this. So I'm just going to hold this position now that we've got it. I think the cannons help tremendously to establish a control. And let's just take a look at the enemy lines here. We can see the cannons are doing a number on them. <laughs> Uh, they just took a shot over here. They're just all over the damn place. Orders stay. Alright, I'm not sure if those are orders uh, directed at us. But they might be. Just stay and hold our position, because look at that. Got a lot of enemies arriving. Oh, yes. A lot of enemy skirmishers arriving, as a matter of fact. And these guys can oblique, right? Fire when ready, boys. But look at the oncoming British Tide. That's pretty horrifying. Let's do it. We knew it was going to come to this. And especially there in the center, we have no other alternative. Look at that. Highlanders already running on that particular line. Not sure this is going to help us hugely, but we'll soon find out. We still not have control over that area. Wow. Wowee. At least some more of our men are going in there, so hopefully uh, that will give us control pretty soon here. Alright, and so that first charge, you can see now it's stopped uh, since the Highlanders ran. They ran off the field, and now our men are just focused on that group there. 
Although, unfortunately, the enemy still holds the area. At least wanted to make it neutral. But they do still hold the area. Here we go. Judge. There just can be no alternative to the charge now. Especially with that arriving enemy force. They're going to drive us off the battlefield. Devils! They've taken our boys prisoner! You bastards. It's okay, that's okay, we can save them. And yes, you can save them in this game. You just have to get up on that position. And our men did break them. So despite them winning that fight, um, the enemy winning that particular fight, it wasn't an easy fight to win. Quite a lot of losses for them there. So far, we're even holding off the enemy here. So that's a good sign, at least on the right side, we've managed to hold things together. I don't want to get too close to those cannons, but I really want to take out that unit. And I'm pretty sure with a charge, they would immediately fall back. Let's do it. I mean, they've taken a beating the entire match. So I'm hoping this is enough to break them. Look at all of the artillery fire that keeps hitting them. They've had it pretty rough here. Oh man, that... I have to say the distance, though, that I got them to cover was a bit much. <laughs> Gotta apologize to my guys for that. Here we go. really cinematic with those explosions going on overhead. Okay, nope. Nope, they don't have it in them. And again, running that distance, I can't say I really blame them. I think that was the biggest uh, mistake there, was just the distance itself is too great. We'll send a few uh, units here. See if we can't start taking that area back. The right side re remains under our control. So I think we're okay on that right side. Not that that counts for much. And look at that. Another group on the left falling back. That combined Dutch-British force there is devastating. And of course, being supported by the artillery, even more vicious. Sending some of this British artillery scurrying off the field would be pretty entertaining. And I think we can make that happen. At least the artillery we should be able to force off the field. And that would stop that unnecessary barrage of fire um, into our flanks here. Look at that. We finally are making them fall back. It looks like it anyway. It looks like they might be thinking about breaking here. Yep, finally broke them. Not the entire British Army, mind you, just that group of uh, Dutch mercenaries. Actually, my apologies, these are the rifles! This is the same thing from Sharps Rifles, the same group from Sharps Rifles um, that you guys may be familiar with. Um, really, really fun show. Strategy gamers seem to like it, and look at that. That is the group Sharps Rifles is in, or Sharp, Commander Sharp is in charge of. He's already lost quite a few men. We're just going to keep on firing. I've given up fighting for the center. I, I don't think we can take it. Ah. 
I mean, we might be able to take it, but it would take us um, another hour or so, I think, to get all of these other troops up, these guys that have mostly been engaged with the fort, because they have their own casualties, for sure. I mean, if you just look around the fort, some of these casualties are enemy casualties, that's true, um, but some of them are our own men here, um, at distance. Ooh, look at that. Do have a little engagement going on there. And maybe it wouldn't be the end of the world if we just take this group here and kind of do one of these. I don't want to risk our men, of course, but if this could help the rest of our army, well, then we've got to do it. So far, that enemy group has not managed to break through. So I think the artillery is making all the difference there. Otherwise, those skirmishers would have already forced us back. Good enough, good enough. Halt. Oblique a little bit as well. There we go. That should be a nice steady vol volume of fire. Uh, can these guys spot them too? Let's see. Yep. Let's hold. And actually, from this angle, this is a proper flank. Uh, this is where you can do the serious damage. Oh boy, look at that. Look at that. They know what's up. They know what's going on. Yeah, they, they broke away quite quickly there. Keep it up. Keep up the fire. All right now, we'll move our focus to this unit. If we're lucky, and if they don't shift, we're going to be able to get that same kind of um, fire on them. Also, by moving up here, I think we can force the enemy general back. Who knows what could happen here? We're still making a push for that particular area. Good enough. Let fly. Look at that. Yep, what did I tell you? Some really nice shots already on, um, on the enemy's flank. We're going to assist our boys here. Ooh, le pays. If you made it this po this far, I want a Napoleon gang in the comments. Napoleon gang. Let's see just how many Gronyards would actually uh, watch a Napoleonic battle to this distance. I'd love to see. Definitely sticking together there, but I wonder if we break those two infantry units, do we take control of this area officially? Nah, I don't think so. They're just too far away from the main line. Still haven't taken that fort. <laughs> Not sure what that's about, honestly. But at least we hold this area and continue to do devastating damage uh, to the enemy units just kind of hanging out over here, although they're finally starting to return fire. But look at just the amount of enemy dead around our artillery here. It's pretty amazing, um, the amount of damage we managed to do. You can just see huge gaps missing in the enemy line, and it continues. The surgeons are going to have a lot of difficult work ahead of them. A lot of uh, legs to cut off. Let's see how that's going. Am 
Might as well move these guys forward. Might as well. And I'll oblique these guys right so that they can actually engage um, the Highlanders at distance here. We can oblique them a little more right, actually. Let's keep things simple, though. Eh, uh, you know what? No, that's not quite enough. Let's do something like this. could very well be our last chance. A charge, <clears throat> I think it's out of the question. Um, we've sent three charges up here. They've all failed. Let's just fire. Shoot them down, boys. can't always be a defeat. Wonderful, guys. A nice little victory. I honestly wouldn't, wasn't expecting it. I stepped away to check on Bullet, and sure enough, we've got a beautiful victory here. There we go. The enemy casualty, 6,157. Ours, 5,978. I'm genuinely amazed that we won this one, but it came down to the determin determination of the French. God bless them. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed, you know what to do. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one.